Larson and Dubro has selected Allison Transmission to provide the Allison 3040MX propulsion solution for the futuristic infantry combat vehicle prototype being developed by L&T. Allison's 3040MX was developed from the proven X300, which powers US Army's newest mobile protected firepower light tank, and the Swedish CV-90 and Warrior Infantry fighting vehicle. The 3040MX is equipped with advanced electronic system controls, that enables performance optimization and additional functionality. The Indian Air Force had sought response from global manufacturers and current operators for the lease of a wax aircraft, but the Air Force has not received any offers, as some of the available aircraft are based on the vintage technology of the early 1970s, while on the other hand, Boeing is not open into leasing E-7 Wedgedale Airborne Early Warning and Control Aircraft. The DRDO is working on 6 Netra Mark II based on X Air India Airbus A321 platform, but it will take another 4 to 5 years to be delivered. As per latest information, four Army Aviation Corps pilots have started training in the Boeing facility to fly Apache helicopters. The Indian Army will get the first Apache attack helicopter in February 2024, and all six units will be delivered before April 2024. The Army Aviation Corps has selected a desert camo paint scheme like the Qatari version for its six Apache attack helicopters, and the Army will place an order for 11 more Apaches in 2024. Seven vendors have responded to Indian Army's request for proposal for 5,000 units of 9 by 19 mm machine pistols worth an estimated $6 million, that include Punch Lloyd, PLR Systems with Israeli Weapon Industries, ICOMTEL Limited with Caracal of UAE, Jindal Defense with Brazilian firm Taurus Armors, Optic Electronics with Switzerland's Brugger and Tomit, and Reliance Group's J Armaments. Indian Army is procuring 200-man portable drone jammers under by Indian category, that must be delivered within 12 months of contract signing. It will have a target identification range of at least 5 km, minimum directional and omnidirectional jamming ranges of 2 km and 1 km respectively. The jammer should be able to work for 2 hours on a full charge, and perform 30 minutes of continuous jamming. The weight of every single system should not be more than 25 kilograms, and the overall weight must be less than 100 kilograms. The RDO's Combat Aircraft Systems Development and Integration Center has established an airborne cooling system test facility, that can simulate mass flow inlet temperature and pressures, experienced by the cooling system in different flight conditions for evaluation of its performance. The test facility will be used for generation of performance maps of the heat exchangers and air cycle machines used for airborne application. Variable heat load is also provided to check the performance of the cooling system against different heat loads. The Center for Air Power Studies has stated in a report, that India has been wedged between two nuclear-armed hostilities, and to have a credible second strike capability against both China and Pakistan, India needs at least two SSBNs armed with intermediate-range submarine-launched cruise missiles on continuous patrol. INSRI Hunt is undergoing replacement of nuclear fuel rods, that is expected to take 18 months, while INSRI GAT will be inducted by mid-2023. The S-4 and S-4 Star SSBN will also be operational in the next three years, thus India will have four operational SSBN in 2026.